Welcome to this short video abstract about our joint paper on optimal bandwidth position for a terminal embedded antenna. My name is Lars Johnson, and this is a joint work with Fabian Ferrero, Shuai Shi, and Lei. So, in this paper, we are concerned with the question of where is the best, the bandwidth best position of any arbitrary antenna. So, we consider a small 5x5 terminal. And we have a 2 by 2 centimeter large embedded antenna. Using stored energies, we are probing the question what the best possible position could be. And what we find out is that the edges and the corner are really the better positions, and the corner is the very best position for an embedded antenna in this terminal. We have also looked on other frequencies, so please visit the paper to, to hear the discussion about these ones. So now once one know that the corner and the edges are the very best positions, then we are interested in trying to find some antennas that realize these, uh, these results. And we have investigated then a meander type antenna and a FIFA antenna. And uh, for each of these positions along, along the axis, the center positions here, we are asking ourselves what can one so say optimize the, the shape of these antennas and what is then the best uh, fractional bandwidth that we can obtain in this region. So you see that the meander antenna here is really only the very best at the, at the corners, and uh, the FIFA antenna is better in the interior. So we can sort of say, see that the shape of the antenna uh, is really important for how to get out the best bandwidth depending on the position in the embedded antenna. We also fabricated the antenna, so you can see the fabrication of the antenna on a 5, 50 micrometer thick substrate, and we have added a transceiver and a microcontroller to this. Uh, we added these items, making the antenna a three-dimensional structure, in order to be able to use a clever method to measure the total efficiency, the total radiated power, and the uh, frequency bandwidth of the antenna using a sentinel station. We can see some of these results plotted over in, in this figure over here. Now, once we have both simulation and measurements, it's very interesting to try to compare these results to see how close is the realized antenna to the optimal bound. So this is the efficiency corrected result. The black dot here represents the measurement of this antenna, and the uh, blue dot over here represents the, the uh, bound. So we can see that the bound is very close to, uh, the, the measurement is very close to the bound. Please visit the paper uh, on this doy link or my homepage, and thank you for your attention.